the stash cam video was captured in Nuevo Laredo in Mexico. A man and his wife had just crossed the border into the country in the early morning hours of January 3rd, 2020. Shortly after, they were met by this sight. Cars stopped at a light blocking the road with multiple people standing nearby. As the driver approaches, the car in the middle lane pulls forward Wait, and the people on the stop? Like, I'm about to stop. I'm like, hey, uh, trying to block. What? What? Then gesture the driver to pass oh, through. Whoa. However, just as he tries to do so, a pickup pulls around the corner and blocks the open path. That's when the people outside begin banging on the driver's windows and pulling at the door handles. I would have sped through there. I would have crashed. Look, look at him, look. He's ready, look. It's the cartel. Yeah. Yeah, this whole cartel be moving for real? Like, like they like just out in the public? Like, they really just run up on you like this? They never been trying to hide it, bro. Like, they really run, run shit like this, bro? That's crazy. I live in Arizona, bro. And I hear a lot about cartels out here. But I never seen it, like, I never seen it up close. I done heard things about all oh, cartels. They be extorting people, but I never seen it from my own eyes. She's like, just happening, bro. Like, I wouldn't even believe it, honestly. They look like kids. The cartel just kids or something? I thought it was grown men. It's like high schoolers. Hey, what do you want him? He got a, he got a, he got a mask on. This nigga, he on BT for real. He on the wrong side of the road. The group does whatever they can to get the vehicle to stop, but the quick maneuvers of the driver allow him to speed around the blocking vehicles and get away back in the opposite direction. Groups such as this one are commonly known to set up roadblock traps like this in different areas. Typically, they'll be looking for passing trucks to steal, which they'll then use for a multitude of different purposes. However, they'll also steal wallets, they cell got phone, trucks. and other trucks. valuable items from these unsuspecting drivers. Multiple reports of stolen items, including cars, were filed that morning. James Shaw Jr. was a self-proclaimed auto enthusiast. He owned a Subaru Forester and would commonly take it out for joy rides around California. On January 4th, 2015, James was out on Angeles Crest Highway for a scenic ride through the San Gabriel Mountains in Los Angeles County. Because it goes over the mountains, the Angeles Crest Highway is one of the highest elevated roads in Southern California. James was nearing two tunnels and recalls speeding up because he said the echo from the tunnels made the exhaust sound better. However, the road had a sharp turn directly after the second tunnel, something James didn't know at the time. He was going too fast to make that sharp of a turn, resulting in a loss of control. He was left skinning towards the edge, all of which was captured on his dash cam. Yo! Talk about this person just standing right here, though. Like, what the heck is he doing? Yo! Yo! Oh, no. Oh, no. James's car hurls over the edge. However, in a sheer stroke of luck, a drain pipe sticking out from the slope catches his car, saving him from crashing down the mountain, which almost certainly would have been fatal. He's, yo, he gotta thank God. His shit would've went in them top of these trees, bro, on them rocks, oh man. On top of that, James was left completely uninjured after the crash. He shut off the motor and stepped down onto the drain pipe. He is. From there, he climbed back up to the road and called for assistance. A recovery tow truck retrieved the car, but it was completely totaled. A year later, he posted the dash cam footage online, acknowledging his mistake and hoping others would be able to learn from it. He ultimately admitted that he wasn't paying full attention and had mistakenly assumed the road continued straight after the second tunnel. If you wasn't paying attention, why, why are you pushing on the gas? This dash cam footage was taken on June 2nd, 2022. It happened in Australia. The driver of this vehicle had both a front-facing and rear-facing camera. 
Around 5 p.m., the driver was pulling up to a red light to turn left. In the rear-facing camera, a Mercedes can be seen pulling up just behind it. Almost immediately after, the driver's side door swings open. A man gets out and starts quickly approaching the vehicle holding some sort of metal object. Fortunately, like, the driver happened to. It wasn't no no firearm, so it couldn't have he couldn't have been that dangerous for me. Be looking in the rearview mirror when the door opened, which gave him enough time to react. Was he was forced to drive off the road and through a gun. patch of grass, cutting three cars in front of him. The man with the Mercedes was left standing in the roadway. The driver who uploaded the footage doesn't know what the man wanted. He mentioned how it was possible he could have cut off the Mercedes earlier on the road without knowing but evidence of this was never found anywhere in the footage. He could have been trying to rob the driver, or maybe even worse. I mean, his face is in 4K. Like, nigga, you trying to rob somebody, and it looked like he prepared. There's no clear way of knowing for sure. On August 1st of 2021, a forest fire in California, later named the Antelope Fire, was started by lightning. Over the next few days and weeks, the fire quickly started spreading. Bro, this looks like hell, bro. I don't want I will be scared of shit. I ain't gonna hold you, go drive through this shit. During that time, multiple groups of fire trucks around the area were sent out to try and contain it. Bro, this is what I would assume hell looked like. I don't know how it looked, but I would assume it looked like this. The footage you're seeing was taken at 1 in the morning on September 10th. This truck was one of many in a group that was sent out that night. They were driving on a road that was close to the fire. But because of the wind's direction at the time, they quickly got overrun. I mean, this was all fine when we were driving down here two hours ago. And I guess when it got away from us back there, went a little bit deeper interior and just. 244, engine 1671, keep driving as fast as you can. Come on. Yeah. I would have been flooring it. Yeah, we need to go. This guy's driving slow, but we need to get the f out of here. Drive. Because he probably being nosy steering at it, bro. I hate drivers like that. When something going on the side, they just like this. Hey, nigga, you want to drive, nigga? Especially like this was a fire, bro, and I got, like, I'm doing a car? Nigga, if you don't push that shit, bro. Drive, bro. Holy. Engine 334, 1671. Where are you? Are you on section 14 yet? Go. Hey, three, three, four, turn Go, dude. Being nosy. This guy needs to Can drive. We we're gonna start heading south. Oh. Hey, we're backing up. Uh, we're oh, I take that back. It wasn't even his fault. <laughs> My bad. Off and heading north. Out of. Copy that. Yeah, we're we're just gonna turn around. Turning around is not an option. The road in front of them had been engulfed by the flames, but by now, so was the road behind them. This forced them off the road to find another path. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Wow. Yo. Yeah. Oh. This look like Call of Duty, bro. Black Ops, bro. At the train station with the zombies. It reminds me of that. How is this car not catching on fire yet? Go, 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 go. Holy. It definitely feels like Call of Duty right now. Are they going up a hill or down a hill? Road, road, yep. Get on the road. Bro, I want to found that. Come on. On that road, I'm trying. Oh. I'm gonna try harder, bro. Oh, shit, I got li limited time. That road, get here. Hey, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, shit. oh my god. Holy 
Dude, that was scary. Oh my god. Finally, they reach a clearing and make it out of the fire. Though, some of the other trucks wouldn't be as lucky. A few of those trucks would be pretty badly damaged. But, other than one of the drivers receiving burns to his hands, every firefighter made it out uninjured. It wouldn't be until October 15th till the fire was 100% contained. That's insane. This footage was captured in Slovakia back in 2012. A family was taking a drive on a narrow country road with trees closely packed on both sides. Eventually, they come across a fallen tree covering the whole other side of the road. However, they continue on. But just in front of them, they find another. As they approach the second one, cracking can be heard just in front of them. A tree was falling and it started a domino effect with more trees falling closer and closer to their vehicle. The family attempts to reverse out of there, but the trees catch up to them and fall directly on top of their car, leaving them trapped. Meanwhile, even more continue to fall on top of them. Still dropping too? Oh nah. The trees yo, falling. Now insurance claim about to be crazy. They about to get like a good 15 bands. Was later discovered to be the result of what's known as ground destabilization caused by excessive amounts of rain. In the last eight days, it had rained pretty much non-stop in the area. This waterlogged the soil, making the ground loose, which essentially made it so all the trees didn't have a firm hold in the ground. So when one fell, the small force it put on the surrounding trees was enough to take them down with it. The vehicle clearly suffered damage, however, it's unclear if anyone inside of it was injured during the incident. This dash cam footage was taken from a pickup truck in Chile. The driver had just gotten on a highway on-ramp. As he continued forward, the vehicle just in front of him starts using their brakes to slow down. Eventually, they come to a complete stop altogether. That's when the vehicle's doors swing open. Two guys get out, one armed with what looks like a gun. Initially, the driver tries reversing out of there, but there was now a car behind him. This gave him no other option than to push forward. Yo, this made me want to buy a dash cam, bro, because, like, what if this dude would have started shooting back? And, bro, the, vid the footage would be in 4K to defend yourself, bro. I need a dash cam. I'm about to buy one. Because something like this kind of happened to me before. Like, not like this in particular, but, like, where I got the situation, bro. But, like, if I had a dash cam and something did go down, it would have been easy to prove that it was self-defense. Because, like, this guy right here, if this was me right here and I had a dash cam, bro, I'm shooting right there. You got all the proof right there in the world what's going on to try and ambush you on the highway. Smart. Smart. The vehicle was pushed far enough for the driver to get onto the highway. During the push, the brake lights of the attacker's vehicle are shown turning on, but this has almost no effect on the pickup. The video was shown to police to help identify the men. It was also posted online, to which a few days later, the real owner of the vehicle used by the men recognized the car as their own. It turns out the car had been stolen a few days prior to this video being taken. This is what led police to believe that the men were also trying to steal the pickup. Yeah, give me a body cam. I gotta give me a dash cam footage for sure. This happened in Canada, north of Toronto, in May of 2021. The dash cam footage shows a vehicle driving down the road, when suddenly a plane streaks by just in front of it. The plane just barely missed the hood of the vehicle, and it crash landed, hitting the ground in the long grass across the street. The plane suffered damage to its nose and sides. Two were inside the plane at the time, an instructor and a student. They were attempting a touch and go, which is a training exercise where you land on the runway and slow down, only to accelerate again for another takeoff immediately after. It's basically used to practice multiple takeoffs and landings in a short amount of time. However, this time the plane had failed to regain enough altitude when it tried taking off again, forcing it That's to- That's a dangerous way to practice, bro. I'd rather shit. Mm -mm. 
You playing with your life, gang. Speed across the road into a crash. That shit is literally dragging across the ground. Fortunately, no one on the ground was hurt, and neither the instructor nor the student received any major injuries. Nigga, I would have sued that airline for freaking for for um for mental trauma or whatever, bro. I'd have been PTSD for my PTSD after that. I'd have been scared of shit. My heart would have been racing, bro. A plane that close to my car, bro. I'd have been shaking, bro. I'd have got a lawsuit somehow. This dash cam footage was recorded in May of 2020. Shown is a vehicle driving down the road in heavy rain and high wind. The area had been seeing storms like this for the last few weeks. As the driver pushes through it, up ahead, power lines begin to tip over. One of them gives out and takes many others down with it. Ooh. The power lines explode as they hit the wet ground. Cables and debris are left strewn across the highway. Fourth of July. A man on a motorcycle coming from the opposite direction can be seen stopping and running on foot into a field to get away from the wires. And shortly after, the driver with the dash cam does something similar. He drives off the road onto a nearby dirt path, power lines still exploding in the distance. It's unknown if anyone was injured during the incident. Nigga, that shit look insane, bro. What? Bro, I never experienced something like that before. I didn't experience, like, I think, one hurricane. This was, like, probably in 2011. I believe it was, like, a hurricane. But, yo, it wasn't like that, though. Like, nobody was, like, it wasn't no power line drop falling to the ground or something like that, bro. But, yo, hopefully everybody who, who, who experienced that was okay after that. That shit look crazy.